guys, it's Tiana, and today I'm here for a first impression on the new CoverGirl True Naked Roses palette. This is a dupe for the Urban Decay 3 palette, so I've heard. I have not owned that palette, so I cannot attest to that, but I am very, very excited to test out these shadows. I was highly impressed by the Goldens palette. I'll have a review for that linked up here in the card if you're interested to see that. I feel like if I hold it back here, you get a better color representation because my light's like paling out the colors, but I promise they're much more pigmented than they're looking now. I'll have to give you guys a close up and go through the swatches. So first impression, just sticking my fingers in it, they're really soft. So the first four are called Almond, Champagne, Baby, Rose Gold, Copper Rose, Dusk, I don't even know how to pronounce that, Marvine, Movine, Mavine, and Moose. So I thought the Golden's palette was super pigmented. This one is too. I am so impressed by these palettes. Pigmentation. I don't have one shade that I don't like. I mean, the lightest shade, just because I'm so fair, doesn't show up that much. But on most skin tones, this could be a really, really good all over the lid shade, which is what I'll probably use it for, honestly. But it'll pop more on tanner or deeper skin tones. There's just not one shade in here that I don't like at all. Oh, this is so exciting. Baby and Dusk, which are these two purple shades right here and here, are my favorite. Those are probably what I'm gonna work with the most today, but I'm gonna try to incorporate as many shadows as I can. And Rose Gold is really, really pigmented. I kind of want to put that all over the lid. Uh, Movine and Moose are very similar in color. I would say that this one has an itty bitty bit of a purple sheen to it, whereas this one is more of like a neutral cocoa kind of shade. I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes because this is what I always do. I don't feel like trying an eyeshadow without priming my eyelids first really gives it a fair shake because that's what I do with all my other shadows, so that's how I compare them. So I'm going to set it first. I really want to do a chit chat get ready with me where I just jabber on about scandal because it's all I want to talk about because I've been obsessing over it. I binged it so hard the first season. I wasn't really a fan of. And don't worry, I won't spoil it if you're interested in watching it and you haven't. But then the second season, I was like, okay, I'll keep watching. And then the third season, I was like, I have to have it all. I have to watch all of it. And I kid you not, for like three or four days, I've lost track of the days. I've done nothing but binge that show. And I think I've left the house one time. That's it. <laughs> and I've been drinking a lot of wine and eating a lot of popcorn because I mean, that's all she eats and it just makes it sound so good. <laughs> Before I start my eyeshadow, I actually am gonna go in with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe if you're curious, because it bothers me seeing my brows so like uneven and everything. <laughs> My eyebrows did not behave today. Let's move on past that. I'm going to use Almond on a big fluffy brush everywhere. I'm using this almost the same way that I would use like a face powder just to kind of set my lids where the paint pot was. Now I'm going to use the Real Techniques based, based, we're not cooking here, base shadow brush. And I'm going to go in to Baby, which is the lightest matte purple in the palette. The shadows do have a lot of product that comes up out of the pan when you hit it with the brush, but I think that just, it's what comes with having buttery shadows. It's just like with the Lorac palette. So I imagine that this will have a bit of fallout, so I'm going to be careful not to get it all over my cheeks. So I'm gonna work that into my crease and a little bit above it as well. And this is gonna be my transition shade. I have very dry under eyes and I usually have like a weird patch where nothing sticks under my eyes or on my top lid, so hopefully that won't happen today. But it is happening on my bottom. So I just dusted off that brush and I'm going to go in to Dusk, which is a basically just a couple shades darker than what I was using before, and I'm going to concentrate that in my crease. This shadow also has a lot of fallout, so it kind of feels like most of the shadows will be that way. I'm going to try to keep it off my main lid because I want to add, I think it's copper rose to it. I think that'd be really pretty. Now I'm going to go in with a big fluffy brush and gently go over the edges. They blend it out very, very nicely. Now just because I want to use as many shadows as I can, I'm going to go in with Mauvine, Marvy, like that name is just, mm. and I'm going to use a dense flat shader brush and I'm going to really concentrate that on my outer V. I'm going to bring that up above my crease so it doesn't disappear in there. Who did I problems? Mm -hmm. 
So now I'm going to go in with another flat shader brush into the shade Rose Gold. I'm just gonna pat that on the brush and then I'm gonna put it to most of my mobile lid and if it needs a little more oomph, I'm gonna add some setting spray to this and apply it wet to see how it performs that way. So now I'm going to add a little bit of setting spray. I like it and it does work well with the setting spray. Now I'm going to go back in with the crease shade called Dusk and I'm just going to blend that. Now I'm going to touch up the outer V with a little bit more of Mauveine. So now I'm going to mimic what I have done to my top lid to my bottom lid. Now I'm going to go in with a flat shader brush with a little bit of Mauveine very, very lightly along my lash line. Now I'm going to use the shade Champagne with a tiny little tapered pencil brush and I'm going to use that to highlight the inner corner of my eye. I'm not someone that's very big on inner corner highlights, but going for it, why not? That is really, really pretty. I like that. Now I'm going to use a little bit of Almond, which is the lightest shade right here, and I'm going to go under the high point of my brow. Normally not something I do, but I'm going all out today. And just because I'm feeling like it, I'm going to go in with a little bit of Mousse, which is this darkest shade, which has lots of kind of violet shimmer through it. I'm going to use that with an angled liner brush dry, and I'm going to drag that just along my outer V on my top lid. I was going to leave it like that, but I feel like I need more separation between the pinky purple tones and my eyes. So I'm going to use the Rimmel Scandalize in the shade Bootleg Brown. And I'm going to use this as an eyeliner. I'm going to work all around my waterline. And I'm going to go back in with that flat shader brush and make sure that it's not like awkward on my lashes because that's what happens when you use really big pencils. Oh my eye. I'm actually filming a first impression on the Maybelline Full and Soft Mascara. This is a waterproof formula. So I'm going to speed through my mascara. So that is about it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this and if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Subscribing just means that you'll be notified when I upload new videos. And if you're curious what I'm wearing on my lips, not sure if I actually said that in this video, but I'm wearing the NYX Lip Lingerie I love saying it like that, lingerie, uh, in embellishment. I'll also have the rest of the things that I put on my face listed down there in the description. I did film a first impression on this shade as well as another lip lingerie, and I will have that linked down there in the description if it is up before this, which it should be. Overall, I'm very, very happy with this purchase. I'm glad that I just randomly decided, you know what, I'm just going all in, because I ended up really liking this. So that really is about it now, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.